Hosea chapter 6 Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces, but he will heal us. He has injured us, but he will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will restore us, that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your love is like the morning mist, like the early dew that disappears. Therefore, I cut you in pieces with my prophets. I killed you with the words of my mouth. Then my judgments go forth like the sun. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. As at Adam, they have broken the covenant. They were unfaithful to me there. Gilead is a city of evildoers stained with footprints of blood. As marauders lie in ambush for a victim, so do bands of priests. They murder on the road to Shechem, carrying out their wicked schemes. I have seen a horrible thing in Israel. There Ephraim is given to prostitution, Israel is defiled. Also for you, Judah, a harvest is appointed. Whenever I would restore the fortunes of my people, Hosea chapter 7 Whenever I would heal Israel, the sins of Ephraim are exposed and the crimes of Samaria revealed. They practice deceit, thieves break into houses, bandits rob in the streets. But they do not realize that I remember all their evil deeds. Their sins engulf them, they are always before me. They delight the king with their wickedness the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, burning like an oven whose fire the baker need not stir from the kneading of the dough till it rises. On the day of the festival of our king, the princes become inflamed with wine, and he joins hands with the mockers. Their hearts are like an oven. They approach him with intrigue. Their passion smolders all night. In the morning it blazes like a flaming fire. All of them are hot as an oven. They devour their rulers. All their kings fall, and none of them calls on me. Ephraim mixes with the nations. Ephraim is a flat loaf not turned over. Foreigners sap his strength, but he does not realize it. His hair is sprinkled with grey, but he does not notice. Israel's arrogance testifies against him, but despite all this, he does not return to the Lord his God or search for him. Ephraim is like a dove, easily deceived and senseless, now calling to Egypt, now turning to Assyria. When they go, I will throw my net over them. I will pull them down like the birds in the sky. When I hear them flocking together, I will catch them. Woe to them, because they have strayed from me. Destruction to them, because they have rebelled against me. I long to redeem them, but they speak about me falsely. They do not cry out to me from their hearts, but wail on their beds. They slash themselves, appealing to their gods for grain and new wine. But they turn away from me. I trained them and strengthened their arms, but they plot evil against me. They do not turn to the Most High. They are like a faulty bow. Their leaders will fall by the sword because of their insolent words. For this they will be ridiculed in the land of Egypt. Hosea chapter 8 Put the trumpet to your lips. An eagle is over the house of the Lord, because the people have broken my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel cries out to me, Our God, we acknowledge you. But Israel has rejected what is good. An enemy will pursue him. 
They set up kings without my consent. They choose princes without my approval. With their silver and gold they make idols for themselves, to their own destruction. Throw out your calf idol, Samaria. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of purity? They are from Israel. This calf, a metal worker has made it. It is not God. It will be broken in pieces, that calf of Samaria. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. The stalk has no head. It will produce no flower. Were it to yield grain, foreigners would swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now she is among the nations, like something no one wants. For they have gone up to Assyria like a wild donkey wandering alone. Ephraim has sold herself to lovers. Although they have sold themselves among the nations, I will now gather them together. They will begin to waste away under the oppression of the mighty king. Though Ephraim built many altars for sin offerings, these have become altars for sinning. I wrote for them the many things of my law, but they regarded them as something foreign. Though they offer sacrifices as gifts to me, and though they eat the meat, the Lord is not pleased with them. Now he will remember their wickedness and punish their sins. They will return to Egypt. Israel has forgotten his Maker and built palaces. Judah has fortified many towns. But I will send fire on their cities that will consume their fortresses. Psalm 133 How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life for evermore. Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. A king's wrath strikes terror like the roar of a lion. Those who anger him forfeit their lives. It is to one's honour to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Sluggards do not plough in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer. Then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. Plans are established by seeking advice, so if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. If someone curses their father or mother, their lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. 
Wait for the Lord, and he will avenge you. The Lord detests differing weights, and dishonest scales do not please him. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? It is a trap to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider one's vows. A wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength, gray hair the splendor of the old. Blows and wounds scrub away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. 